Okay. So we are going to be right in the center of our mat doing some um, knee ups, knee hugs right here. Getting our legs warmed up a little bit. Let's get some good wrist turns in here. Got a couple of plank things that we got going on today. All right, let's switch it up to the other way. Keep it going. Let's turn it into some arm circles to the back. Big arm circles, warm up those shoulders. Bring it to the front. Let's go ahead and grab our seat real fast and take a seat. We're going to sit down and bring our knees up into our chest a couple times. You can hold your bottom of your chair or you can have your arms out. We're just bringing our knees into our chest. Yeah, Michael Jackson. I don't know if y'all can hear him. He's playing behind me. All right, let's turn that into a little squat pulse. Just touch, touch the back of your booty on your seat. Come up, squeeze me at the top. Keep it going right here, warming those legs up. Yeah, my dog is like trying to be right in the middle. Keep it going. Scooting back so I don't jump on her. All right, we're gonna turn into this, turn this into a little seated jumping jack. So we're gonna go from here and then come up and then sit back down. Let's get that heart rate up going. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. It's just your warm up, but this will be part of our cardio at the end or in the middle of the workout. If you do have knee problems, knee issues, you can just be here, step in, down, step in, come down. Keep it going, couple more here. Three, two, one. Hey Trish, can you roll for me? What do we got? 10 burpees. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Move your chair out of the way. 10 burpees with or without push ups. On your count. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Trish, did you pick that on purpose? <laughs> Okay. What else we got, Trish? And no, I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fifteen jumping jacks. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. All right, one more Trish. Oh. 
Run for two minutes. <laughs> Let's just jog in place for, yeah, roll it again. Roll it again. That's too easy. Fifteen high knees. All right, come on, you guys. Let's get those knees up real high. Drive them high. All right. Grab a drink of water. After that, let's grab it or get down on our mat. First up, we have a lateral bear walk. So we're going to be on all fours with our knees slightly elevated above the ground, our back straight, and we're going to walk from side to side on our mat. Get ready. Let's get in position. And while we're going through that, I'll tell you what our next thing is. Hold on. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one, side to side. We're just walking, reaching one side of the mat, going over to the other. You're up on your toes, your backs are straight, and your knees are just slightly elevated. Bring it into the core. So after this, we're going to grab our chairs. Bring it into the middle of our mat. And we have the single leg squat, squats, or what's known as the pistol squat. We're here for five more seconds. Three, two, one. Stand it up and grab your chair. So I'll turn it to the side. This is something we worked on yesterday a little bit. You can be right here. And you just bring your leg up. You're balancing all your <laughs> on one leg, your right leg, and your heel. Join me, you guys. You can also have that left toe pointed just as a little tripod helping you out. Keep it going. We're going to switch it over in a little bit and do the other leg. So you start to Feel kind of wobbly and off balance. Put that toe down for a little bit of help. Bring it into your core. Balance, y'all. We're going to switch it up. In three, two, one. Let's switch legs. You might find that you're a little bit stronger or less wobbly on one side. Keep it going. Really focusing on putting the weight in your heel. Up and down. I'll try to rem remind you next time that if you want, you can have weights here on your wrists, or you can even really challenge yourself with some lateral raises. Bring that weight up into your heel. Three, two, one. Next up, we're going to be on the chair, chair, hands elevated, and we're going to be doing plank tap outs. Marcy, you can be on the ground doing a normal plank, tapping your toes out to either side. Get ready, let's go. Three, two, one, tap out. Straight backs, bring it in your core. Booties down, just tapping our toes out. Just a little dance. After this, we have a little bit of cardio coming up. So we're going to stay right here and we're going to bring it right into a, as fast as you can mountain climber. So our hands are still elevated and we are going to go in three, two, one. Bring those knees in. Elevate our mountain climber. Come on, come on, come on. Get that heart rate up. If you don't have a stable chair, Take it down to the ground and do a mountain climber. Come on, we got 20 more seconds. Bring those knees up. Core in tight. Booties down. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going. Three. 
three, two, one. All right, shake those wrists out. Next up, we're gonna go into a slow push-up. You can be on the ground or elevated in your chair, but we're gonna do a five count down like we did yet Wednesday. You ready? Three, two, one, let's push up. We're going down for three, two, one. Up, I said five, but we'll do three. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Go at your own pace, go slow. Check your form, make sure that booty's down, tummy's in tight, and your back is straight. Come on, we got five more seconds here, y'all. Two, one, all right, up on your feet. Woo. Here comes the fun stuff now. Oh no, keep that chair right there. So, if you, Marcy, you can do this on your bed. If you got a stable chair, we're right here with donkey kicks. So we're, we're at, an, at an angle right out here, and we're driving our knees up to kick our booties. The object is to land softly. You don't want to thud, thud. That's too hard on your knees, too hard on your back. So try to kick up and land softly. We got four sets, 30 seconds on, 15 off. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Drive those knees up there, really kick. I like to do a little double bounce at the bottom. It kinda helps me rebound and kick back off. Kick those knees up. Come on, y'all. We got 15 more seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, one, rest. Step it out. I gotta tuck my shirt in so I'll show y'all on my tummy skin. Step it out. Y'all look good. Those got your heart rate up, huh? Good? All right. We're gonna go again in three, two, one. Let's kick it. Donkey kicks. Get those knees and feet up there. Soft knees, soft landing. Keep it going. We got 10 more seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Step it out. Grab a drink of water if you want one. <laughs> We're gonna go again. In three, two, one, let's go. Drive those legs up there. Come on, come on. We only got one more set after this. Keep it going. Come on. Soft knees. We got five more seconds. Two, one, rest. We're gonna go again in 10 seconds, but I wanna show you guys something else that you could be doing. You could be right here, just driving those knees up. If this gets to be too much on your upper body. You can always jog in place or do high knees. We're gonna go again. Three, two, one, donkey kicks. Again, you can be right here, just kicking those knees up, pushing those feet to the ceiling. Or jogging in place. Come on, come on, soft knees. We got five more seconds. Two, one, 
rest. Bring that heart rate down just a touch. We're gonna repeat that whole set all over again. Let me get my glasses on and take a look at you guys. Whew. I'm trying not to scream in your ears. How are those donkey kicks? Everybody good? They're good ones? Did everybody have stable enough chairs or no? Marcy, did you get it? Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so again, we're doing everything all over again. So first up is those lateral bear walks. So we're gonna get our chairs out of the way. We got about another 10 seconds before we're gonna take off. So when you're ready, get down to the ground, get in that bear walk position. Three, two, one, let's walk it out. Straight backs. You want your knees just slightly elevated off the ground. Mine are like maybe three inches off. Now don't be hunching your back up. That'll tear you up. Make sure the weight is in your core. Tighten that tummy. Come on, we got 20 more seconds right here, you guys. You got this, you're killing it. Walking side to side. In, out, in, out. We got five more seconds. You got it, you got it. Up next is those pistol squats. Three, two, one. Let's grab our chair. Okay, so I'm gonna get to the side right here. You can grab weights and have them on your hips if you want to. So a little extra push. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Sit down. Come on up. Really work against that gravity when you're going to sit down. All the weight and that balancing heel. Don't just flop down on your seat. It's a purposeful movement, a purposeful movement. There you go. Keep it going. We're here for eight more seconds. We're going to switch it out. Three, two, one, switch legs. Again, all that weight is in your heel. You're pushing up with it. You're riding it down in your heel. Resist against the gravity. Keep it going, you guys. Looking good. Straight backs, tummy's in tight. I think I say that like, 80 million times every workout. <laughs> Just to remind myself, because I, I forget. If you start feeling all wobbly, put that balancing toe down. Just, just for a little kickstand. You got it, we're here for five more seconds. Keep it up. Two, one. All right, up next are those plank toe taps. You're either elevated on your chair or down on the ground. You can be in a push-up plank or on your forearms. Up to you. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. So you're in your plank, straight back, and you're just tapping your toes out. Tummy's in real tight. I was listening to one lady. She says it's birthday cake breathing right now. So you breathe from your stomach, and it's a conscious way of making sure that you're breathing right with your tummy tight. We're here for eight more seconds. Straight back, booties out of the air. Tap it out. Three, two, one. We got next. We got those incline mountain climbers or regular mountain climbers. Let's just get our heart rate up a little bit. Shake those wrists out. Let's go back down. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, mountain climbers, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Fast knees, fast feet. Come on, you can do this, booty seal. We got 15 more seconds. Three, two, one. Shake those wrists out. Do a little, little resistance work right here. We 
We got those slow push-ups. Keep it. Right? Ooh, shake them out. Three, two, one. Resisting on the down push-ups, slow push-ups. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Keep it going, y'all. Really resist against that gravity. Building longer, leaner muscles. We're here for 10 more seconds. You got it, you got it. We got those beautiful donkey kicks up next. Two, one. All right. I take my glasses off. Grab a drink of water if you need one. Ooh. We are going to go with donkey kicks in three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, soft landings. Jump those legs up there. Keep it going. We got 15 more seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep those legs up. Three, two, one, rest. While y'all are tapping it out, let me tell you again, you can be right here, just driving that heel up to the ceiling. You can be right here high me in. You do your cardio to get your heart rate up. We're going again in three, two, one, let's go. Donkey kicks. If you do not have your chair, these are for the YouTubers. You can be right here doing them too. Just don't flip over like I almost did. We got 10 more seconds, y'all. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. That's two rounds. We got two more to go. Then we're moving on to a whole new circuit. Tap it out. Get ready to go again. In three, two, one. Donkey kicks. Kick those legs up there. Legs are together. Tummies are in tight. We got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Rest. Get ready to go again. Last one. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it going. Come on, get those knees up there. Soft legs. We got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Do me a favor, while you're cooling down, because that was the last one, do some big arm circles. Get that blood going. We're gonna take a about a 30 second snack. Man, my, my brain must be on food. 30 second break, grab some water. We're gonna be down on the ground for some single leg glute bridges with or without that chair. So, if you're gonna have the chair, of course, your foot is gonna be up on the chair, right here. Make sure it's not going to be moving all around and you'll be doing this right here. All right. Y'all keep bringing that heart rate down. We got about 10 more seconds. 
Whenever you're ready, meet me on the ground. Everybody's looking good. Everybody good? Thumbs up. Okay, thanks Trish. <laughs> let's see, girl. All right, let's get ready for those single leg group leg glute bridges. Right leg first, up in the air. We're gonna be pushing off with that left. Get ready, let's go. Three, two, one. Driving that leg straight up to the ceiling. Pushing those hips up. Squeezing the booty at the top. Make sure that that balancing leg, the one that's on the chair, is right, oh my mind keeps wobbling. See, it's right on, the foot's right on the edge because it goes too far back. We're gonna switch it out. Switch legs in three, two, one. Switch legs. Get balanced first. Then just take off. Ooh, you got it. Ladies, are your legs burning? I feel the last two days workouts. Woo! These glutes. We got 20 more seconds here. Keep it going. Drive those hips up to the ceiling. Kick that foot up there. Oh my goodness. 10 more seconds. You got it. Two. Three, two, one, woo! Those are up on fire, holy moly. All right, we're gonna be up on our feet and we're kind of doing an incline ski jump for a little bit of cardio. So we're gonna be right here, I'll show you what we're doing. Then you just join right in. So we're out here in a plank and we're jumping up to the side, jumping back out, jumping up to the other side. Join me when you're ready. Let's go, up to the side. Back out, other side, back out. Come on, we only got 20 more seconds here. Bring those tummies in tight. Booty down, feet are together. Three, two, one, rest. I'm about to my glass keep flying up. All right. We are, we have that incline mountain climber again. Why well, I don't know, but, oh no, feet elevated mountain climber. I'm sorry about that. That's my bad. Let's get your feet up on the seat. And we're gonna get ready as soon as you're ready. And these are slow and controlled, concentrating on bringing our knees into our core. Let's get ready. Just a normal mountain climber, go. Slow and controlled in a plank. Bring our knees in as far as we can go. If we don't have a chair, you can totally do this on the ground. Really concentrating on keeping that back straight. And bringing those knees into the core. Tummy in tight. Three, two, one, rest. Sorry, I came on. I'm fogging up so much. All right, so we're gonna get on. Tummies, this one's a little tricky. Tummies are on our seat right here. Right here with our hips kind of hanging off. We're grabbing the back of our chair, or the legs of our chair, and our booties are hanging off, and we're gonna pulse our legs up. Kind of like what we do in that front prone, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> prone thigh lift. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, one, squeeze at the top, really, Pulse those glutes up, lift those thighs, push those feet to the ceiling. Keep it going. Make sure those heels are going to the ceiling. Keep it going. We got 15 more seconds here. Come on, come on. Five, three, two, one. Woo, ladies. All right, up next we have a um, seated knee to el elbow oblique. So it's a crunch, so you're on the edge of your seat. 
your backs are straight. We got our hands behind our ears, just resting there. And we're coming up. We're just obliquing. You see what I'm doing here? We're just obliquing. Getting an oblique crunch in there. Get ready, let's go. Keep it going. Same elbow to same knee. Going off to the side. You're getting that side of that, those abs really lit up. Make sure your back's straight. Really working on bringing those knees in more than anything. We're here for three, two, one. Stand up and rest for a second. Because up next we have our cardio which is <laughs> seated jumping jacks, like what we did in the warm-up earlier. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. So, you can always do regular jumping jacks. You can do squat jumping jacks, because that's basically what this is. You don't have to sit all the way down in your seat, but you're gonna be in the seated position with your leg out, and then when you jump up, you come all together. And then you go down, and then you come all up together. Let me get my watch set. We're gonna go in about five seconds. 30 seconds on, 15 off, four rounds, in three, two, one, let's go. Give it all you got. Keep it going. Looking good, Robin. Look great, Trish. Good form. Keep it going. We got 10 more seconds. You got it, ladies. Jennifer's got power jumps. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Rest it, tap it out. Get ready to go again. In three, two, one, let's go. Jump it up. Good job, Michelle, you look good. Keep it going, keep it going. We got 10 more seconds, you got it. Three, two, one, rest. Keep that head above your heart. Tap it out. We're gonna go again in five seconds for round three. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Side kick. <laughs> Carefully, you're not kicking that chair. And make sure your seat's behind you. <laughs> we got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Woo, girls. Y'all are killing it. Catch that breath, just a touch. We only have one more round left. You ready to go again? In three, two, one, let's go. Come on, just 30 seconds left. That's it. Keep it going, keep it going. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, you guys felt it good. Huh? Yeah. Okay, y'all bring that heart rate down for a second. 
we got about 30 seconds to chill out, kind of catch our breath. And I'll tell you, as soon as I catch my breath, what we got up next. Let me look at you. Marvin said hi to you, Diana. Hey, Diana. <laughs> hi, Stephanie. Stephanie's, Stephanie's still working out, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I'm like literally panting in your ears right now. Okay, so next up on, on we have a decline plank with we're going to toe tap at that. So Marcy, off your bed or off the edge of your bed. Anyone else, we can, you can just be here when a normal plank and toe tapping or you are up here and you make sure your chair is sturdy, please. And you're just tapping down. Bring all of that weight into your core. So that's up first. And then we are feet on the seat. Then we're here. Nope, we got a glute bridge. I'm sorry, I'm all over the board. Then we're here, going in and out. Glute bridge abduction because that did not already hurt earlier today. Then we got sumo chair squats. That's what we got at first. So we'll start with that decline plank with the toe taps out. We are gonna go and get ready in that plank right now. We got three, two, one, let's tap down. Make sure you're steady on that chair. Backs are straight. Tap it down, just little taps. Tummy's in tight. Breathe. Remember next, all we're gonna do is lay down on the ground and put our legs up on the chair for that glute bridge abduction where you pull your knees apart. We're here for five more seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it down to the ground. Both feet up on the chair. And we're gonna raise our hips in three, two, one. All right, let's pulse our knees out. Making sure that you have your hips lifted. You can grab some weights. I got my Gatorade bottle. Then you can do some flies right here. That also kind of throws your core balance off a little bit more, making sure that you are really focusing in on your core. Keep it going, y'all. Pulsing those knees in and out. Check that booty. Squeezing. Hips up, hips up. In and out, in and out. Keep it going here for five more seconds. Then we're gonna be on our feet for those sumo squats. Three, two, one. Booty down on your feet. Woo. <laughs> All right, so we got sumo squats. So our feet are going to be slightly more than hip width apart. Let's turn those toes outwards just a little bit and let's squat down. All the way down to the seat. All the way up, squeeze at the top. Join me. Come on, ladies. You got it. Again, I know I told you last minute, but we're gonna do this whole set all over again. So you can be right here and you can overhead. But I promise our next set after this, we are going to kill it in the arms. All right, three, two, one. I want you to move around to the back of your chair. And we are going to do a squat with the calf raise. Just using our chair as a balance. So we have our feet stacked up underneath our hips. So in our squat, we're gonna squat down, calf raise, up. Y'all join me. Squat down, calf raise, stand up and squeeze. Down, calf raise, stand and squeeze. Keep it going, you guys.
for our next move of the day, we are going to either do a chair row where you grab your chair and row with it, or you can grab your weights in three, two, one. Either grab your chair or your weights. If you got your weights, you're just right here with the bent over row. Bring the weights up. If you got your chair, you're doing the same thing. Just don't smack your face like I might. Join me. You're here right here. Arms in tight to your chest. The chair will be a little bit off.
three, two, one, rest. We do not need this chair anymore. Grab a drink of water, bring that heart rate down a little bit. You're gonna want, I'd say lightweight to this, for this set. But if you just have medium or heavy, go until you can't go, push it a little bit more, and drop the weight and keep going. Let me get all set up. Woo. We're gonna go in about 20 seconds. So y'all keep that heart rate coming down just a little bit. I will tell you what we got up first. First we've got a front row with a lunge. So we're right here with our left leg forward, right leg out. We're here rowing. 30 seconds or 45 seconds. Then we will hold it as a static hold for 45 seconds. Then we're gonna switch it up to the other side. Y'all go ahead and grab your weights. And as we move through these workouts, I'll tell you what's next every time. So let's go ahead and get in that row position. All right, let's go row it. All the way up into that armpit. Come on, come on. Keep it going. Start that lawn mower. <laughs> Talking about mowing the backyard. My backyard, I'm looking at it right now. I'm not lying when I say there are some daily lines that come up to my middle thigh. Keep it going. We're gonna static hold in three, two, one. Hold it there. Hold that weight. Check your elbow, make sure it's pointing right back. You got that weight up into your armpit or as close as you can. It's close into your inner, inner your, your chest. Hold it there. We're gonna be here for a minute. Not a solid minute, that was an exaggeration. You got, hold on, I don't wanna tell you. <laughs> You got 25 more seconds. Keep it there, keep it there. If it starts burning, bring it down for just a second, bring it right back up there, you got it. Check that form, look at that elbow, make sure it's still in good position. Try to make sure your head and neck are out in a straight alignment. We're here five more seconds, so we're gonna switch over to that left arm. Three, two, one, let's row on the left. I'll switch it up like this. All right, row, row. Bringing it right up into that armpit. Straight backs. Y'all looking good. The boys say I don't know how to sing. That my singing voice isn't very good, so I'm just gonna sing to y'all. Mm -hmm. My husband just said no. <laughs> Come on, you got it. We're here for 15 more seconds, then we got that static hold. You got it. Three, two, one, hold it. Hold it up in that armpit. Come on, check that elbow. Then bring your neck back out in a straight line and looking right in front of your mat. Come on, it's burning. For some reason, this one's burning faster than the other one. Ooh, boy. Come on, come on. We're more than halfway done. You got it. Take that concentration out of that arm. Check your legs to make sure you're in that lunge. Check that elbow again. We're almost done, you guys. We got 10 more seconds. You got it. You're killing it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. Put those weights down. We are going to do jumping jacks for 45 seconds with the forward and then out. Keep those arms warm. Get ready, let's go. Out, front, out, front. Get those arms going. Big arms, heart rate up. Come on, come on. After this, we're gonna grab those weights and we are gonna be doing front raises with a static hold. And this is, might be where you're gonna want those lighter weights. Especially if you have any shoulder problems. For me, holding heavier weights out in front, I 
try to roll my shoulders forward. We're gonna make sure that we have good form in our shoulders. Three, two, one. Grab those light weights. You need two of them. Roll your shoulders down and back. We're gonna bring that right arm up forward for a static hold, and we're just gonna be bringing that left arm up and down. So that, that static arm is straight in front of you. 90 degrees at your shoulder, while your left arm is just going up and down, up and down. And if you want to know what's next, you guessed it. We're holding with the left, up and down with the right, but not yet. It's a burning. Get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Hold that left. Come on, you got it. Keep it going. Keep it going, that left arm straight out. Check it, it's burning. Keep it going, check that left arm. Straight out in front of you. If it starts coming, come down from one second, go right back up. Believe it or not, that little teeny tiny break, it helps so, so much. Move around with your feet so you take the stress out of your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders aren't coming up into your ears. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Shake it out, y'all. Come on. Last one for our arms. We're going to be right here with the lateral raises, bent arm. All right. Shake it out one more second. Three, two, one. Let's go. We're right here. Check those arms. Those elbows are not coming above your shoulders. And this is where the burn is really setting in. Come on, check those elbows. If it starts killing you, I want you to go one and then the opposite. As long as you got good form, you're good. We're almost done. Four, three, two, one. Weight down. Shake those arms out. Oh, goodness. Good news is we're done with arms. Kind of, kind of. We got a little bit of arms in our abs. We're going to need those chairs back. I lied to you when I said we don't need them anymore. I just thought we didn't need them for those arms. But all of our abs are going to be on a chair. Fun times, fun times. So y'all get your chairs ready. I am gonna get my abs section ready so I can read it. It's funny, I have it like blown up on the computer with tent like this big. <laughs> All right, so first up, rotate those arms. Let's do some arm circles. So first up, we've got a reverse plank with the knee in. So we're here, out in the, out in a, in a straight line as much as you can. If you are not wanting to use your chair, go down to the ground, it's fine. We're bringing our knees in. Driving them in, like an opposite, like with opposite what we did with those mountain climbers. Making sure that our booties are up to the sky. And next up, we got an elevated crunch hold. So we're down on the ground. This is a little bit back and forth here. So we got a little bit of time in between each one. But we're here, just elevated. Shoulders off the ground, pulsing our arms. Easy peasy. All right, let's get started with those planks, those reverse planks, knee ins. Get ready. We're gonna do each hold for 40 seconds. Then we got about 20 seconds in between to rotate them out. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Knee in, check that booty, push it up to the ceiling. You can also have your butt on the edge of your seat, bringing your knee in, especially if those shoulders are burnt out. You can be here with those knees in. You can be here with those knees in, or again, in that reverse plank. And you're almost done. You're almost done. If you're in the reverse plank, check that butt. Push it up. Three, two, one. Let's get down on the ground for that elevated crunch hold. Remember, shoulders are gonna be off the ground and we're going to be pulsing those hands out as far to the back of our hips as we can. 
three, two, one. Let's go. Lift those shoulders. Pulse those arms. You can push them down. You can bring them up. If you don't want to be using your chair for this, you can have your leg just elevated. You can bring them in a, in a B-ish or straight up. Keep it going. We're here for 20 more seconds. You got it. You're killing it. Focus on that core. Make sure your shoulders are up as far off the ground as they can. Keep it going. Next up, we're going to do suitcases with a little bit of a different variation. So, in three, two, one, relax. Eyes on me. We're going to be in a suitcase right here. Push our chair out just a little bit. We're going to go in this chair, up into our body, and then kick them out in a V. Up, back into our body, kick them straight back out. Remember those suitcases we do sometimes? Same thing, but we're just doing a straight forward and then a V with our legs. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. You can do regular suitcases just right here, with or without your arms. Come on, you guys, you got it, kill it. My hips are popping with every single movement. Keep it going. Three, two, one. All right, let's sit in that seat. Last one, yeah, last one we got is a seated toe reach. So we're gonna be alternating toes. You got your straight back, straight up, so we're just gonna be reaching our feet. Kind of like a little crunch into our legs. If you can do it straight legged, by all means, girl, you get it. My thighs are too tight. Let's get ready to go in three, two, one. All right, let's go. Keep it going. I'm gonna watch right over you guys. We're gonna stop after this one. I'm gonna cool you down real fast. I'm sorry about that. I started my watch after we started the workout. I've been going off of that. Three, two, one. All right, let's stand up. Move to the back of our chair and get a good quadricep stretch. Grab that left leg, bring it up in. Push that leg out. All right, y'all give me field gold hands. Let's open our hearts to the back. Pushing back, 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 back. And then bring them forward. Pushing back, 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 back. Bring them forward. Push them back, back, squeeze those shoulder blades and bring them forward. Let's do it two more times here. All right, I want you to take those arms out and take your toes, oh, not your toes, your thumbs down, put your thumbs down and push back, push back, push back, push back. Bring that right arm over in front of you. Switch out arms. All right, let's hinge at the waist. Work it over to the right leg, give it a good back of the leg stretch. Oh my goodness. Reach for those toes. If you can't reach your toes, go to the back of your calf. Get that glute. Oh my goodness. This feels so amazing. All right, walk it to the center. Bring it over to that left. No, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit down tomorrow. All right, back into the center. Roll it up. I know that was a quick cool down. I'm super.